we do have the eight of wands and we have the empress we might be really passionate about the mother of your children or the father of your children or about somebody who is abundant kind beautiful playful sexy creative you know that's the energy of the empress and can be very well masculine and feminine energy too we all have uh, both in us so just saying and the three of wands partnerships and alliances we want to have a partnership with somebody or a relationship or a bond seven of swords in secret we want to have something that is hidden well or we have a hidden passion or a forbidden passion it happens no judgment here now let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy, the most important one. And we do have the two of pentacles. What's going on? We are juggling. We want to make uh, some movement, some choices and some decision, but two of pentacles, right? We are trying to keep them in balance, but we want to work on it, right? And together is a ton of pentacles, right? We want stability with this person. We want to put down rules. We want it to. Ha we want to have something for a long haul. Ten of uh, pentacles is about legacy and family and children. And again, the eight of wands. We have a passionate heart, Pisces. This is what it is telling me. And I do love the eight of pentacles because it's an energy of dedicated effort. It's an energy of focusing on the right things, right? And I, um, somebody here is actually about to make a decision, an important decision about um, accelerated motion, taking something to the next step. Or maybe sending a Cupid's arrow to somebody. That is the other ones, right? Passionate messages. There is something about sensuality there. But because it's paired with the Eight of Pentacles, this kind of means kind of business, you know? But anyways, let's see the other energies before we jump to conclusions here. So Pisces, in the past on your side, the person you are dealing with and natural energies. Let's see the current energies. On your side, the person you are dealing with and natural energies. Oh my God, you get one, two, three. Okay, that is a lot of energy between you and this person. That's all right. And let's see the possible outcome on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Bottom of the deck, we do have the sun. Might be a Leo you are, um, you know, passionate about, um, attracted to, eight of wands. Maybe you want to have some movement in their direction, right? You want to go their way or you want them to come your way. And then we have temperance, Sagittarius energy. Might be a Sagittarius you are dealing with, but this is about life for some of you, right? It's not always about a Leo and a Sagittarius can or not end or. It can very well be about awakening, can be about patience, compromise, and wish fulfillment. I just love this, Pisces, because I do believe you are working on something in February. Um, eight of Pentacles again is a card of effort, and actually you want wish fulfillment, and you have eight eight. Yeah, that's interesting. Eight eight the strength card also. So you are staying strong about something, right? You are being courageous about something this month, and of course we are working on something, and we're having success actually. Eight of Wands is success and moving forward, and wish fulfillment. I mean, why not have the whole package, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So the past was painful, Pisces. We do have the Eight of Cups. This is. Uh, uh, it's like allowing space, but it's uh, more than that, right? Eight of Cups is my destiny is someplace else. I need to go. Um, it is about walking away and it's also about emotional withdrawal. So probably Pisces, you might have said thank you or that's enough to somebody. Uh, or that's it, that's enough, you know, time for me to move on. That is nothing for me left here. And it's interesting because it's living with a sense of hope. Um, this is the star card. Maybe you went towards an Aquarius or... But it's... Um, it's divine guidance, right? So yeah, it was an emotional withdrawal, but it's a sense of, you know, that is no point 
right in it kind of energy here and um, probably you left with a hope for better days or if you had a plan you were guided towards this is also an awakening knowing that you know what that is nothing in it for me there is nothing left and it's time for me um, you know to move towards the light it's time for me to have some purpose it, it's time for me to have wish fulfillment and I feel it was kind of you you know um, disconnecting um, eight of cups it is uh, um, a slow disconnection from something or somebody someone um, and it is walking away because destiny is calling it's a form of awakening um, in some way in the form of guidance that you received and you said you know what um, this is not for me now the person you left behind Pisces um, they were in the shadow about this commitment right we have yourself of course um, this is your energy and we have the marriage card the Hierophant Taurus Pisces energy might have been a Taurus in your life um, highly committed to you um, you know they were there for the rest of their life kind of energy and the Hierophant is an energy of marriage so maybe this is your husband um, and your energy is all over them um, in the past and my husband wife whoever you were uh, committed to and uh, they meant business you know we'll see how um, you know emotions go over there but it's a rock solid kind of commitment and it's also a very bonded uh, tight tight knit kind of connection they had with you now mutual energies between the two of you we do have trapped in fear um, I don't know if this was um, fear of um, losing each other or it might be the energy of somebody really being trapped in fear in this connection while the other person was soaring kind of energy the the empress right so maybe that was um this because that is a big difference in here right pisces uh in the past we were not on the same page with this person and we were not vibing with the same kind of energies you might have dealt with somebody highly um practical you know because we have Taurus energy here um, but it's pentacle energy this is again I was I don't remember I was doing Aries probably and I had a moment of philosophy you know when we see when I personally see the Ace of Cups it kind of tells me of that um, bond between people where you know there is a lot of um, emotions expressed and you know all the I love you the all day long and the um, kind of energy where we um, you know it's like uh when i see you my heart skips a bit you know that kind of energy and then we have the other type of energy where it's like you know what i keep the house clean i keep the kids fed and i'm working and i'm bringing money home so you know what i love it that's a form of love you know right there this is a manifestation of love i mean why would i do that so two approaches right it's not one better than the other it's just different so this is how it feels right one it's all about but i committed i'm committed but that's you know and the other one is yeah but emotionally I, i'm empty right i feel empty i'm not i'm not fulfilled i don't feel in balance in emotional balance and i tiptoe or whatever was the energy there because and i say tiptoe because somebody was trapped in fear so definitely that was in terms of past energies kind of being cautious right what we say it how we say it what you know what comes out of our mouth and then somebody was really in fertility mode right this is uh, being creative being abundant and actually lo longing in some way for development because it, this is the self-improvement card i mean it's the ultimate stage of, of human development right the empress so anyways Pisces right now what's going on we do have the three of swords we are a little bit suffering um and that is an Aries maybe involved or authorities involved or maybe a boss maybe a parent maybe maybe you are divorcing this person um and that is, there are official papers and you need to have a plan um somehow heartache and loss and authority right we are not in a good spot right now we are trying to figure out a couple of things i wouldn't be that concerned right because we do have the patience card and we do have the light one is about information and knowledge 
awakening and truth and one is about patience and timing and healing and balance so approaching the situation from a place of balance a place of power and the place of choices of being aware and having knowledge in regards to the choices that you need to make that's the two of pentacles right um so um and i do not the wish fulfillment yeah it is a card of wishes coming true but i um it's a card of well-being it's a card of emotional fulfillment of your own emotional needs so we are in a good spot but i can understand that it hurts right now right it hurts and somehow there is somebody that that um you know is in the, maybe in a position of power in a position of authority maybe somebody is kind of uh, you know uh keeping something you know above your head and that might hurt you in some way um pisces the person you are dealing with they have the justice card so you might be going through a divorce over here we have the marriage card with the divorce card and we do have the will of fortune we have things we have changes we have divine timing we have the universe in place we also have balance they might um, be trying to um, get their balance from the justice system whatever lawyers papers administrative stuff may be but in the same time that is will of fortune right they are on a wheel and they are turning and they are trying to make the most out of it somebody is here i don't know exactly um you know and uh, balance the scales in some in some way but i don't know what they have on you but you might be a little bit scared over here with whatever they have and whatever they hold above your head right uh might be something there mutual energies i love this we do have passion ignited so that is still passion between you and this person um that is of course one thing on your beginning or um you know wish fulfillment nine of cups and the six of wands isn't it interesting because we want you want them they want you that's interesting right um because i don't understand the hurt but you know it might be a parent uh, saying no they are not for you might be somebody keeping you away from this person or uh, but you are definitely hurting because of someone and yet mutual energies is just beautiful we have victory and success we have wish fulfillment and ace of wands so whatever we want to do right now might be very successful whatever you have on your mind if you have a plan and you are kind of scared about um might be very well working right ace of wands is a card of desire it's a card of wanting and longing of action and being dynamic about it and proactive and you'll get your wish you'll get your wish Pisces and it's mutual energy so they get theirs too I love this I would say Pisces this person goes through kind of major transformation because we have four cards four major arcana you know just on their side so they might be going through a big transformations of you know destiny and um, and karma paying debts, paying karmic debts. Um, somebody's um, developing a form of, um, you know, of, of wisdom, of awareness with a higher friend. And, and yet everything turns around them, right? That's the will of fortune. It's, uh, you know, in, in the swirl of things kind of energy. Might be a Libra you are dealing with, of course. Uh, you do have Sagittarius, might be a Sagittarius, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius. Kind of energy moving forward oh what's going on uh pisces we do have emotional loss and we have obstacles and challenges five of cups we miss this person we just miss them this is the energy of missing their smile and and their voice and their um, you know the communication and having them this is like missing their you know skin and their, the way they smell the way they kiss that kind of energy and then that is this internal struggle right five of wands an internal struggle with a conflict within you in regards to this five of cups is a sense of guilty also so i don't know if you are challenged by by a conscious of some sort in regards to this person i don't know you tell me pisces it's complicated on your side and i don't understand the pain 
I don't understand the heartache, right? It's like somebody, it's like some form of authority preventing you from coming forward to this person, some form of, I don't know, a dad, a mom, you know, a boss, somebody. Um, we do have the, the emperor and the empress, so maybe somebody's married over here, um, right? It might be about a married couple, that kind of energy. And we are hurting and we are emotional and yet we somehow walked away from this with a hope of some sort. Um, right? In the past, that was hope and we walked away because we had hope in regards to something. And it does look like it became either a disappointment or maybe you see obstacles where there is no obstacle, right? To be had. Now, the person you are dealing with, they are resting and rejuvenating. Isn't it interesting? And the five of wands, the same five of wands you have, Pisces. Internal conflict are on both um, sides over here. And you have the five of cups, they have the four of swords. This is rest and rejuvenate. This is kind of the energy of healing. This is an energy of uh, having a plan, contemplating something, thinking, but mainly is a card that it's after the three of swords, right? And we had the heartbreak and now we are uh, healing it and trying to put the pieces back together. And yet again, this obstacles and challenges, right? They can't even make a plan. That's the energy here. They can't even make a plan. That is a bridge that is uh, um, kind of broken between the two of you. And it's a, it's a time of mourning, kind of. Pisces, mutual energies between you and this person. We do have the Six of Pentacles. We do have material and spiritual prosperity. But we know this is about reciprocation and balance and decisions and justice and karma. And making things right is justice in minor arcana and we also have justice in major um, arcana so somebody is all about balance and and making decisions and um, trying right to make uh, the most out of the situation and the nine of pentacles we do have the material harvest maybe both of you are working focusing on work and um, you know, financial independence, or maybe both of you are single, Pisces. That's energy and love readings about it, and wanting to reciprocate. But yet, both of you are mirroring each other like crazy, right? I know, I know. Yeah. I do love the overall energy and interestingly enough, the reading doesn't really, um, that is not a strong bond between, we have here suffering and obstacles and the overall energy for the first week of February and we know how important, for me it's the most important actually, the, the overall, it's one of hope, is one of light, is one of patience, is one of movement, is one of passion actually, passion and wish fulfillment. But I would say the energies around you individually is one of um, of quests, is one of internal questioning. Is it? Is it no? Is it? Is it he? Is he the one? Is she the one? And a sense of emotional loss, uh, Pisces, that we need to be aware of. Maybe, maybe the obstacle is because we have some um, tough emotions that we need to deal with, right? And it hurts, I know. Three of three of swords, it hurts, I know. I know. I know. Um Pisces, let's ask for some guidance. Are they the one, right? That's the question we have. Are they the one? Do we want them back? Pisces, we have romantic feelings, so you really love them, right? Your feelings are real and worth exploring. We love them. Good. This is something we know. What else? You know, the universe is funny sometimes. And I mean, you know, throwing kind of statements of some sort. We have a retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So, I mean, you have to go, you and your lover, you have to go in hiding. I mean, look at the card, right? This is having time for yourself and this person in retreat, hiding. 
that is a sense of hidden something but anyways and we have engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and somehow children are involved here your love life is being affected by children engagement and children i don't know somebody has children right somebody has a child or children in the picture we have a boy and a girl so maybe that's right and we need to really go into hiding you know <laughs> kind of leave the parents leave the children with the grandparents and then just go hiding someplace with this person oh that's the advice spices you need some time with this person just you and this person you really need to spend some time and in explore your feelings we do have here right explore your feelings let's ask for some surrender energies and then we say goodbye Pisces surrender to creativity well you need a world of creativity to make this happen I don't know right so let your imagination soar stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem so you need to think outside the box this is what I'm hearing here we have feelings we love them we want to have them but we have to go and retreat and solve the children problem they are never a problem by the way but it's somehow it says your love life is being affected by children so uh well that in this in itself is a statement is a problem because it's not supposed to right <clears throat> so so somebody if somebody Pisces has a problem with children we need to run in the opposite direction right i'm in asap um surrender to the wisdom of your body i love this listen to your body's messages about a person or situation if you feel physically drained or uncomfortable be cautious if you are energized and happy move forward i love this pisces i love this because we have romantic feelings we don't know we are heartbroken we have emotional loss we are conflicted so what is your body telling you right what is your body and think outside the box i love thinking outside the box by the by the way surrender low self-esteem you deserve success love and abundance well that is quite a statement and it's true for everybody we all deserve set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem i love this one too surrender to your soul's path your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. I love this. And Pisces, I love this even more. Surrender to the magic of who you are. So we all have magic in us. Well, of course you do. Even in the mundane aspects of life, remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that come from just being you, right? This is kind of the energy of you are enough, right? You don't need anybody to complete you. So Pisces, you know I love you, right? You know I wish you nothing but the best. As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.